as you consider student engagement in your online class, I encourage you to reflect on two things. First, what spaces are you creating to monitor student learning online? While the physical space exists in the classroom setting, online, we have to be more intentional about creating the spaces for student engagement and student learning to happen. These are things like discussions and surveys, reflections, group activities and check-in activities, knowledge checks, outreach to your students, right? There's lots of ways to engage students and to monitor their learning, but be sure that those, those spaces exist in your online course. And then what conditions are present in those online spaces? When you think about those online spaces, and especially this semester during a global pandemic, learning and teaching in new modalities with new technologies, are students comfortable? Do they feel safe and supported? Are the spaces relevant and connected and equitable? Right? Do students feel nurtured, connected and seen? Think about ways that you can provide those conditions to students in the spaces that you've created. So think about both of those spaces and conditions. Both of those elements will influence student engagement and learning online. And remember that students will have a lot of distractions this semester. They'll have a lot going on outside of your class. They'll, there will be other circumstances out of your control influencing the success of your students online this semester. So two things that you could focus on that could influence your student success. One, creating the spaces to help you monitor student learning and engagement online. And two, setting the conditions in those spaces so that students feel nurtured and supported to be successful. For a safe and connected space where you can reach out to Mesa colleagues on this and other teaching ideas, we encourage you to visit the Mesa College Teaching Tree. Thanks for watching.